Hey, what's up guys? Coach Austin here to talk about the standing dumbbell shoulder press. So there are many variations of the shoulder press. And so you can do a barbell seated shoulder press. You can do a barbell standing shoulder press. You can do a seated dumbbell shoulder press, or you can do the standing dumbbell shoulder press. One of my favorite variations is this standing dumbbell press for the reason that it is unsupported and it does use a lot of the core musculature and also just the unsupported nature of it allows for improved shoulder health over time. So in terms of getting the dumbbells into position, that's probably one of the most challenging parts of the standing dumbbell shoulder press. Because if you're doing a barbell shoulder press, for example, you're typically in a squat rack and you have it in a position where you can just step up to it, unrack it and walk it back. But in this dumbbell variation, you can't do that. And so this is again, a little bit more of a skill-based thing. And I recommend that you put them on the floor and almost power clean them into position, if that makes sense. So here I'm going to demonstrate that. So get yourself into a good wide, or good stable stance, and you're gonna get the dumbbells next, next to you, get a nice stable core, and get ready to actually power through and just power these into position. So once you have these into position, you're able to then have a shoulder width stance, and then you're able to press up from there. So a common mistake within this, one is going to be kind of where those shoulders fall. So coming too far back into external rotation sometimes isn't a very good idea, especially if you don't have that mobility. So a good thing with this dumbbell press is you can actually customize kind of where you feel best within that press. So for me, it's kind of more of this anterior meets medial delt sort of press where I'm able to have a good pressing motion. A common mistake here that I wanna just end with is going to be the likelihood of you losing ab engagement and going into spinal extension is pretty good um, in terms of it's a pretty high probability, especially the first time that you do it, you're going to lose core stability and you're gonna to want to bend and go through spinal extension and press up this way to actually be able to maybe even get more chest involved if your delts and triceps are very tired. So one thing that I would really pay attention to, and if you're not ready for this yet, that's okay. And I would recommend that you just go to a seated variation and go from there. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys are interested in coaching, reading an article, or watching another video, check us out, physiquedevelopment.com.